Hey, what is up guys? Guitarok here. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Alright, so today I'm going to show you guys uh, my daily places to farm for artifacts. So some of you might have known this. There are plenty of places where you can basically farm artifacts daily. When I talk about farming artifacts, I'm talking about like those places that you can investigate and you'll get free, I think one star. Sometimes you, if you got lucky, you get green artifacts, but most of the time you'll be getting that white or that grey artifact, right? So, let's jump into some favourite spots and I'm going to show you guys right now. Okay, my first favourite spot is right here in Li Yue. Um, somewhere, so I did mark it, so uh, there is a couple of spots right here as well, so alright, so as you can see on the map, you are right uh, next, like across Wang Shu Yin, alright, so it's somewhere around this spot. So there are a couple of ways, there are a couple of spots to farm. So if I'm not mistaken, this is one of it. Let me check. You can fight that guy if you want to. Yeah, this is one of it. So you get one right here. Okay. So that's an easy one. And then you go here. Just go straight all the way. I'm gonna run with Chi Chi a little bit slow. Okay, you see that small village in front of us? So that's where we're going to farm some of it as well. Okay, so right here in Kui Jue Slope. So in this boat, you will get one all right so lucky dots clover and then right here right next to this barrel okay this is not you only get wheat and cabbage huh, i guess that's it so and then you want to go straight up here right Alright, so destroy all these boxes. Okay, so this place you can get at least four artifacts. If there should be a chest here if you've never been here before. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna get one. Oh, look, you got some green. Nice, got pretty lucky today. Uh huh. Alright, so total of five artifacts right here. Okay, next, we're gonna go right here. I'm not sure the name of the spot. It's somewhere near across Mount Aozang. So you wanna go, you wanna use this one. Alright, to teleport. The location is somewhere here. Can you guys see there's uh, this bonfire looking thing? I don't know what symbol this is, but it's right, literally right here. You wanna go right here. Alright, there are a couple of bandits here. You might want to take care of them. If not, just go here and try and steal their artifacts. There's a be one here. Okay, two. Here one. Okay, one more. And there's one inside here. Just ignore these guys, you know. Two more. Run! <laughs> yeah, just steal the artifacts and run. Okay, next up, uh, you want to come all the way from here to this spot right here. Alright, there is a spot that you can get at least three to four artifacts. Alright, can you see that place where, uh, over here, alright, there should be at least 2 to 3 more. I'm not sure the spawn is random, sometimes I get 1, sometimes I get 2. This one gives me 1, I remember sometimes I get 2 from here. So yeah, uh, it could be random every single day. Okay, next up, we're gonna head all over to Mount Aozang. Okay, so we're gonna teleport to Mount Aozang. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Alright, so there's two spots right here. This is my two favorite spots. So one is right here, down here somewhere. Uh, just at that house. Can you see that house? And then you teleport back uh, right here. Now we're gonna jump to the other side. Can you see the house down there? That's where we're gonna go to. Your chilies if you want to. Just grab these three chilies while you're on it. Okay, there's one more somewhere here. Uh, let's see, this is going to be tough. Yeah, I recommend teleport here again. I don't have enough pins again. I wish I had enough pins to basically mark the map.
Okay, so again, you want to sneak in quietly, quietly, without these guys noticing you. Steal their stuff. Okay, one RT. Oh, we got green right there. Okay, so it looks like there's only one right here. I was wrong. Okay, so next we're gonna go here to Dreyun Karst. Okay, so it's somewhere right here. So I would recommend you guys teleport to this one. Okay, next we're going to go back to the same place in Jayun Cars again. So teleport to this one right here. Uh, I think this one is going to be obvious. You don't have to mark. Can you see this brown thing or this reddish brown thing? So this is where we're going to go. Okay, now we're gonna go to this teleport portal between Mount Tianheng and Linju Plus. Uh, there's this one right here. So we're gonna fly down somewhere. I remember there's one spot right here. Alright, the cam down here. Ooh, looks like there's more than just one. Carrot. Okay, we got one. Okay, looks like it's only one. Okay, and then we have some in Qingse village right here. I think this one is nearer, the right one. Okay, you have to run. I'm not sure if this is it. I don't think this is it. Oh, there's one here, alright. Okay, two more. Oh my god, two more right here. Alright. There might be one more right here. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, is this it? Two more. Hawk. Okay, so next we're gonna go to here. Stone Gate. Right about here. I'm pretty sure there's at least one to two. So those are the common ones that I try to check as often as I can. There are some that I usually just ignore straight up because uh, I would prefer to fight monsters. That way you actually get better artifacts, right? So in case you guys are not aware, when you fight all of these monsters right here, these bosses, especially like the Fatui Electro Chichin Mage, you can see she has a small chance to drop one of these artifacts as well. So. This is going to be, I think in my opinion, much more efficient. So you're going to get the materials drops for sure. And also you have a chance to get artifacts. So I think most of the time, uh, focusing on fighting these guys is going to give you better ones. But you know, just for the sake of the video, uh, I have a couple more that I want to show you guys in case you guys are hardworking enough. There's one in Sal Tere. This one is going to be quite hard to get into. All right, because it's like right here. So you have to like walk there in a way all right right here i think this one you get one or is it you get three two oh my god this is a lot you get six right here okay maybe this is worth it i thought this wasn't worth it i thought you only get like one but you get six I'm not sure if it is it random, like sometimes you get one, sometimes you get two, or is it like a fixed amount every time? If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Uh, just compare with your drops. Okay, and then there's one more right here. Can you guys see this green spot right at Dihua Marsh? I'm not sure what's the best way. I think Wang Shu In will be the best one to teleport to. Speaking of Wang Shu In, right? There's one at the back of the inn, which is right here. So it's like maybe it's better to grab that as well. So you want to go here. Alright, so you got two as well. So and then you want to teleport back up, right? So that's easier for us to have the high ground and jump from there.
Okay, there's one more right here at the back. Alright, four in total. Okay, and the last one that I know of is in somewhere near Yao Guang Shoal. Somewhere right here. So you want to teleport here, it's like if I'm not mistaken, it's on this brown mark again. So I'm gonna teleport right here, try to get to that brown mark. Alright, can I get some green artifacts? Okay, we got some wheat, that's not it. Okay, we got two, two grey ones. Alright guys, so with that being said, these are the places that I farm my artifacts daily for free. Alright, so again, with all these artifacts, this is going to help you a ton, right? So even if you don't need these artifacts, remember you can destroy them for more Mora. So all of these, like if you really don't need it, Feel free to sacrifice them for Mora or something like that. Alright, so you're gonna have plenty of extra for sure. Definitely do this every day and you will have no struggle in powering up or leveling up your artifacts across all your characters. Alright guys, so with that being said, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, make sure you guys turn on the notifications as well. Alright, so if you guys wanna get notified on upcoming Genshin Impact videos, as always, have a nice day. Good. Bye.